Welcome to our student project at Darmstadt University of Applied Sciences. We will introduce you to the simulation of a sorting plan in Mechatronics Concept Designer. The aim of this project is to visualize a real plant as detailed as possible. With the help of this simulation it should be possible to test plants of this type in advance and to expand them efficiently. Based on the previous seminar project, our focus was on the optimization of physical properties, the implementation of sources and sinks, as well as a new method to sorting in the simulation. To depict physical properties of the model, we have determined these at the beginning for the individual components, for example, mass and friction. With the help of the rigid body function, we want to adjust the masses and inertial properties of the individual blocks. The rigid body option is selected for moving objects in a simulation. In the control panel of the rigid body, the object block aluminium is selected. Go in the volume analyze tab to select the custom item. The mass is 14.5 grams. Materials are available through the tabs Menu, Tools, Materials, Assign Materials. Then you select the desired body, in our case the aluminium block 2014. Furthermore, the lock should also be defined as a collision body, so it can interact with other components. If that wasn't accomplished, the lock would fall through the other component. In the collision form tab, the numerical mesh quality is defined for calculation. The higher the quality or fineness of the mesh, the more computing power is needed, but the quality of the results increases. And the convex vector corresponds to a mesh formation for finite element method. Unlike other computation methods, where a lower number indicates a high element number, our designer works the other way around. In the case of Mechatronics Concept Designer, more nodes are created for the calculation as the factor increases. The maximum number of nodes for a grid is 136, which was not feasible with available computing power. Therefore, we choose multi-convex and set the convex factor to 1.00. This setting gives 60 elements. The same method was adapted for the block plastic black. However, a new material had to be defined for the block plastic white, as the plastic PLM, polyoxymethylene, was not stored in the material library. To do this, create a new material using the tabs Menu, Tools, Materials, Select Material, Create Material. The type is isotropic. For our calculation, we define the density and the modulus of elasticity. The definition of other values such as thermal and electrical properties was not necessary for our application.
Finally, the friction coefficient of the thread must be defined. For this purpose, we use a collision material. Now the values for the dynamic friction coefficient, also known as sliding friction, the static friction, the rolling friction and the impact coefficient are supplemented. We approach these values by trial and error, since these values were not shown in the datasheet. At the end of this chapter we will show you before and after comparison of the simulation. In the upper left hand corner the initial state is shown, as well as the result of our optimization is shown in the right bottom corner. Next we will focus on sources and sinks. To allow our simulation an unlimited duration, we have changed the finite number of blocks to an infinite source. This is possible using the object source function. When an object source is activated, an existing body with all its physical properties is duplicated. The object you want to duplicate is first selected in the control panel of the object source. In the Activation tab, both Time Controlled Activation Setting as well as Once per Activation Setting can be selected. We have chosen the setting Once per Activation. Then the source can be triggered by an external signal. The making of the signal will be explained later in the video. The Object Sync function is needed to remove the generated blocks at a defined point. A condition for this is a collision sensor which specifies the location of the sink. The mentioned sensor recognizes by means of a boolean signal whether there will be a collision at a certain point. In the collision sensor panel, the form feature user defined is set. Set the shape to sphere. To allow the center of the sphere to be attached to the component, select the tab point via curve, edge and select the desired location. Enter radius of 10 mm. Select the previously created collision sensor in the option field of the object sensor and set the source at any position. The object source is linked to the object sync by means of the function signal. The sensor can only create output files. Therefore, the parameter can only be read, not be written. However, for our application it is mandatory to execute a verification. This means to describe the signal in an if-then condition. The description of the condition takes place in the signal adapter function. In the signal field, the type is set to input. The data type is bool, with an initial value of false. This signal is linked to the source aluminium. In the control panel of the signal adapter, the previously created signal as well as the information of the collision sensor are inserted as parameters. By selecting the signal, a formula assignment is possible. In our case, we have inserted an if condition to check for a collision. In the case of the black and white log, a similar procedure is followed, but both blocks should disappear in the same position in the sink. For this purpose, two object sinks are required on the same point. Each have to be linked in a separate collision sensor. To ensure that a black block is created in the object source after sinking a black block, it is monitored whether the white block is in resting position. 
On this time, only selected objects must be used in the source tab and the source of the black block must be selected. With the help of the signal function, a speed check of the white block is performed. In this panel, select output type. The data type is double. The initial value is 0 mm per second. Now the speed signal of the white block is inserted as a parameter in the new signal adapter for the black block. In the Equation tab, the speed of the white block is checked simultaneously to the collision detection. If the condition of the white block in resting position is fulfilled and the collision sensor of the black block is triggered, the source will be activated. For the white log, a larger catch area for the collision sensor was set to avoid a speed check of the black block, otherwise the previous procedure will be executed. Finally, we are processing the sorting method of our model. In the previous project, sorting was implemented using the prevent collision function. That means that the individual blocks must not interfere with the collision sensor. However, this option is being ruled out for our simulation. Since the collision suppression function cannot be inherited to blocks created by an object source. Therefore, we have tried to perform sorting via material check. This option is not yet available in Mechatronics Concept Designer. For this reason, similar to the implementation of sources and sinks, we again carried out a speed check for the individual blocks by means of the signal function. In the control panel of the function, select the aluminium block. We use the already predefined signal adapter sensor inductor. From the pre decisor project, which already has a direct connection to the simulation program SIMIT and the integrated PLC. The formula is assigned to the already existing signal sensor inductive. If the condition that both the aluminium block is in motion and the collision sensor collides with the front collision sensor, it is sorted out. In our simulation, we only transmit the signal of the if then condition to the PLC and do without the direct transfer of the collision sensor signal. The parameter name is linear velocity x, which corresponds to velocity in the x direction. The type is output, with an initial value of 0 mm per second. Repeatedly, the query for an entry in a symbol table is made. It is advisable to create a new sorting table to ensure a clear working environment. The actual sorting is performed via the speed and collision check by means of the if-then condition within the signal adapter. The signal adapter is supplemented by the parameter of the collision sensor and the object signal aluminium, which was previously generated. A further important detail is the deactivation of the runtime parameter, which has transmitted a boolean signal to SIMIT for collision checking at cyclical intervals. In addition, the deactivation of the runtime parameter, which has transmitted a boolean signal of the collision sensor to SIMIT at cyclical intervals, is necessary.